Let's focus. If this is everything you're telling me. This is what she is. This is what you wanted. I am delivering here. I don't see the problem. This is how it works. You have to understand. This is the process. This is the way she works. So you take these pictures. They're, they're fine. They're good. Here, right here. You gotta get this shot. All right, here we go. Ready? Yes, you have to have patience, Monsieur. I, I have talked to her. I'm about to. I'm about to finish it up right now. And she's very oh, excited. Yeah, okay, I've got to go. Oh, wow. Great job. Get home safe. Thank you. Another terrific April Littleton shoot. Another mm, thrilled client. Yeah. Don't you mean we? Uh, as in, yes, you should stop practicing that champagne. Mademoiselle. What are we celebrating? Ready for this? You know who Vitova is, right? Yeah, the French clothing company. The number two retailer in all of Europe. They want to be number one, and they want you. I just spoke to them. They want you to be their exclusive photographer in Paris for two years. Sounds great. Great. I'm well, glad you're happy. It. That's good. Okay, you think about it. Dear April, this is not the reaction that I was expecting. April, come on, sweetie. This is Paris. This is the fashion capital of the world. I know. I know you work very hard, and I know this is a great opportunity. I am texting you the contract details as we speak. They should be to you right now. Ah. Bonsoir, mademoiselle. Enchanté. Au revoir. I love you. Beautiful shape, bold lines. You're truly an artist. Ah, uh, well, furniture repair is hardly art, Karen. Oh, but your furniture design is absolutely... A craft. I hear you're doing a sculpture for the contest. But you know, my mother is uh, planning the contest, so she kind of wrote me into it. Yeah! Come on! We gotta go! Do you have Hi. a good time? Yeah, I like your swings. Yes. We gotta meet up with Grandma. I understand. Bye, Mrs. Waverly. Yeah, Bye, you. sweetie. Oh, and Luke, mm. don't worry about your sculpture. Just do as I do. Let go and let it fly. Thank you. You have one new message. Hey, bro, where are you? It's me, Jules. Listen, I miss you. I really think that it's time for you to come back. And I think it's time for you to meet the new mayor of Belmont Hills, which of course makes me the first lady. So you should call me, okay? Love you, miss you. surfaced. How is the life of a first lady of Belmont Hills? Oh, I don't think that I deserve the title just because Frank won the election. I'm still just Julia, and I miss my best friend. I miss you too. Well, you know how the town centennial celebration is coming up? I was thinking about how I could help 
which led me to how you could help. Which is? Do you think it would be possible for you to donate some photographs to the town? Look, you're a celebrity and pretty much the biggest thing to ever come out of Belmont Hill. It sounds like you deserve the title of first lady to me. Done. I will pull a few photos. I'll overnight them. April, I was kind of hoping that you would come back yourself. It would raise so much money and go kind of a long way toward funding the centennial. I don't know, Julia. But when my best friend requests a hand delivery, I show up with a portfolio under my arm. I can't wait to see you! We'll ride our bikes into town. We'll see Stan. Some kind of trouble? I know your secret, Daddy! I had a feeling you would. I was mostly hiding it from your grandmother. She's planning the centennial, and this art contest is important. I promised to come up with something. Boxes? Yeah. Then why don't you come up with something? Well, I'm trying, but I think I've lost my muse. What's a muse? Muses are goddesses from Greek and Roman mythology. They give inspiration to artists. Hmm. How do you get one? Well, they say when an artist is ready, she appears. Maybe a muse can help convince Grandma that this is your art project and not just something to trick her. Jess, where are you? <gasps> Got it! Hi, Grandma! There you are. Do you still want to go get a new library book? Yes, I would love to. And I also have to do some research for Dad. Okay, go get your card. Okay. Can you meet us at Stan's at 12? I've got a meeting. Yeah, sure. Sure can't wait to see what you're working on. Right, great. probably tired from traveling but that's too bad because you and I have got to go over your photos so I can get them over to Ben at the gallery. Ben Cross, huh? I can't believe you took over the gallery. That's so cool. Wow. They're beautiful. Really? I don't know. I don't know if they belong in a gallery. Seriously? Look at this. We've got to deliver these to Ben after lunch. Hi, Stan! Hey! <laughs> Afternoon, ladies. Are you Hi. here for a treat? While we're meeting Luke here, I have to go to a meeting. It's for the centennial. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a great celebration. Yeah. yeah. Bye, Grandma. Bye, bye. So are you entering the art contest? Oh, well, I'm not an artist, huh? Well, unless you consider making the best ice cream sundaes in town in art. Oh, I do. So do I. <laughs> so, the usual? With extra syrup. Got it. See, this is what I needed. Get away from my life for a minute. I'll take those. What? Your life sounds amazing. Can we have a check, please? Thank Absolutely. You. It's my treat, by the way. And what I was saying was, I love my life. And most of the time it's fun. It's just the next choice that I make affects the direction of my life. I don't know. I mean, what do you want to do? That's what I got to figure out. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, look. And here is somebody who wants me to figure that out right now. I have to take this. And it oh. might be a minute. Oh, have no. You know what? Actually, that is perfect. I am going to head over to the gallery and drop your photos off with Ben. Thank you. Oh, am I going to see you at the house later? Yes. Okay, bye. Hello, Tyler. I did get your email about the Vitova contract, and no, I have not had a chance to look at it yet. Well, I'll walk you through it at lunch. I'm in Belmont Hills. 
Belmont Hills, what happened? Your car break down? No. I'm here helping out an old friend. Listen now, April, I just spoke to the Vatova people and they are very excited about you. Hey, sorry I'm late. The drop off took longer than I thought. Thanks for looking after this one. Hey, no problem. She's my favorite customer. Hey, Dad. Look at this book I got from the library. Stories of artists and their muses. No, it turns out she actually listens when I talk. <laughs> hey, can I get you some lunch? We got chili today. Then I'll take a bowl. All right. Hey, Dad, look at this. A muse doesn't have to be a goddess from ancient times. Many people find inspiration in normal people of the day. Dad? Okay, Tyler. I know, I know you want me to make a decision soon, but I will have to call you in a couple days. I, I gotta go. Okay, bye. Gosh, just give me a second to breathe. April, it's me, Luke. Luke. <laughs> Hi. As I live and breathe, April Littleton. I know her. She's the one I've seen in Dad's old pictures. She and your dad used to do art together when they were in high school. They even won a couple of art contests together. I'm glad to tell you in person what I think of your art. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the famous photographer. I don't know if I'm famous. Maybe just around here. And they used to make art together? Mm-hmm. There has to be more in the budget. This is a centennial yeah. celebration. Frank. No, no, well, I... It's not just a simple party. It's... It, what are you going to do? Put a piggy bank outside and save up for the bicentennial? <laughs> no, I was... I'm, I'm not... Gonna... I am volunteering my time here. How about a silent auction? Pardon? What I've been trying to tell you as well, uh, you remember April Littleton. Sure, April. Julia got her to come back to town and donate some photographs for a silent auction. Now, I believe that's going to make us a lot of money. <laughs> we'll get it done. Everybody wins. I thought you'd be happier about this news. No, it's great. It's having the extra money is, is great. Uh, April. Huh. That's interesting. Unexpected. photographs and he's so excited to see you look like you saw a ghost i saw luke and how was it well it was exactly how i expected it would be to run into the first guy that ever broke my heart and i didn't mention how sorry i was about maggie i told myself that it would be the first thing out of my mouth and then when i saw him i just got april it was so long ago. Don't you think it's about time that you forgive him? Forgive him? He was my best friend, my creative partner, the love of my life. And then one day out of the blue, he just takes it all away? We don't know why he made those choices. But he did. And things have not exactly been easy for him back here. April, he lost his wife. His kid lost her mother. I know. Which makes me feel even worse for being so mad at him still. Are you going to tell me that he still looks so good? Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> wasn't he wasn't supposed to get bald and fat. Oh, April. You're going to be okay. Yeah. And I saw him. It's over. And I'll be gone in a few days. I'm going to head upstairs and get freshened up for dinner. Yep. <laughs> Jess! Jess, honey, wash your hands. In here, Grandma.
What are you doing? Looking at some old photos. Grandpa died when Daddy was a teenager. Yes. <sighs> Grandpa Jack. I wish I could have met him. Mm, me too, honey. Me too. Daddy has this one in his workshop. Yeah, he's very proud of that. It's from a national arts magazine. Wow. Daddy talked to her today. Now that April's back, she can help him again, right? I wouldn't count on that, honey. Mom, Jess. Dinner's ready. Go wash your hands. Okay. too so early well i couldn't sleep so i thought i'd go exploring and take pictures of something other than women expensive clothes oh okay well have fun with that and we see you later honey bye-bye mm. april don't hang up hold probably on probably be late tonight no, wait, what about dinner got a meeting i'll try okay love you frank oh tell april i said hi You're a grown woman now. Call me Karen. <laughs> okay, Karen. This is amazing. What are you doing? This is my piece for the Centennial Art Contest. You like it? I think it's amazing. <laughs> Would you mind if I took some pictures of you while you worked? Ah, go right ahead. this with a companion piece on it. Sure, man. Hi. Welcome back to town. Wow, look at you. Uh, it's funny that you stop by right now because I was just looking at your work that Julia dropped off. They are great. They are so striking. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yes, it's polished. It's... You know, I'm not really sure I'm interested in this kind of work anymore. Well, if you have other photos, that you want to show, I'd be happy to put them up. Really? Yeah, of course. Any chance that you're free for dinner Tuesday night? Uh, the, the food at Sidewalk Cafe is excellent. You know, catch up on old times. I'd love to, yeah. Then it's a date. It's, uh, eight o'clock? Sounds great. I'll see you there. Looks like I finally got a date with April Littleton. I'm so excited you're back in town. I want to be as cool as Mrs. Waverly when I'm 70. I think they'd be happy just to be that cool now. You know, these are kind of great. You think so? Because when I saw Ben at the gallery earlier, I got this idea to document the other artists, you know, their creative process, how they work. I think that sounds great. <sighs> Millie, Mrs. Waverly was so 
inspiring. You know, not just seeing her art and talking with another artist, but actually feeling like one myself. <sighs> I've been excited to take photos in a really long time. Do you think you can get me the list of all the other artists in the competition? Yeah. Thanks. But that's... <laughs> it's not kind of not knowing where you are. No, it wasn't uh. But here we are. Mike Smith Studio. Uh-huh. Well, what's his, his, uh, his medium? Uh, he's a mud artist. Bet you didn't learn about that in that fancy school of yours. I did not, no. <laughs> well, he's definitely an interesting one, shall we say. I catch you later. Okay, bye. Have fun. Okay. Hey, it's April. Leave me a message. Hey, listen. The Dover people now have a second choice. It's a distant second, but... April, you gotta trust me. They're not gonna hesitate to go that way if they think that you're stringing them along. You've gotta call me. April, you said you were gonna take a couple of days to think. <laughs> it's been a couple of days. You're really stressing me out. <laughs> These are great. I think so, too. Does that seem arrogant? A little. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, I didn't realize how much I'd lost that part of myself, and it just feels really good to get it back. Here I thought you came back for me. Turns out that I'm actually helping you. I'm not sure if I want just one photo of each person or a small collection to really capture their process and progress. April? Uh, April. You do realize that there is still one artist that you need to photograph? Really? Come on, April. He's submitting a piece for the contest. It wouldn't be right. Which is why I called him and told him that you would be there tomorrow. Julia. April, you can't leave him out of your project. And, by the way, you are letting your personal feelings get in the way of your professionalism. It's like a Band-Aid Littleton. You just gotta rip it off. I did. Out front of the diner, and it hurt. Um, so, Julia called you, and I, she told you that I have to do this project. Yeah, she told me. Okay, great. So, um, I'm just going to be an hour tops, and then uh, I'll be out of here. Okay, great. Yeah, come on in. Okay. Is she here? Is she really here? <gasps> Hi. Hi. I know who you are. You're Jess. I know who you are, too. You won lots of art competitions together, and you went off to art school and became a famous photographer, and my dad stayed here and does furniture. Does furniture? Hey, Jess, why don't you come make us a pot of tea like your grandma showed you? Okay. You still drink Earl Grey? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and do the whole thing. The shade with the pot and the cream and the sugar. Got it. Yeah, and bring three cups to my workshop if you want to join us, okay? Okay, Dad. So, as you can see, does everything. Something wrong with my studio? No. I mean, I, I just thought there'd be more, more sculpture. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I guess you could say I've been on a hiatus. Needed a break. Is that your piece for their competition? Yeah, I'm off to a slow start, like usual. So how do you want to do this? Well, it's a collection of, you know, people creating their art, so. So you want me to just start creating now? I mean. Okay. Um. 
Did you make that? It's beautiful. Thank you. Maybe we can get a couple shots of you. No, I mean, my furniture's not really art, it's craft. And, I don't know, it's not what I'd be putting in the contest. So that doesn't... So? I'm out of ideas. Yeah. I should go. Okay. Wait. You're already leaving? Well, yeah. Wait, no. You can't leave. My dad needs help. Jess. Look. This is all he has for the competition. April, you have to help him like you used Jess. to. Jess. April and I haven't worked together in years. I don't care. You can remember how. Jess, you know, I can't help your dad. Why not? Because I've seen all of the other artists' submissions, and uh, that wouldn't be fair. Yes, it's called a conflict of interest. I should go. out in school, but you're um, very taken by Luke Dwyer. Yeah. Luke? Yeah. Oh, Jess is finally asleep. Hey. I thought that all these years that you didn't want to sculpt. You were busy with more important things like your family and your business. I thought you liked making furniture. I do. Anyhow, it's late. Well. did. How was your day? Really nice, actually. <gasps> Even Luke? No. My dinner with Ben. Well, how was the photo shoot? There wasn't a photo shoot. He hasn't even started. His daughter wants me to help him. You know, work with him like we used to. You know, with his work. She says that uh, he needs me. And does he? Uh, this is the first night in a month that I get to go to bed without a blanket of spreadsheet. Uh, you okay? Hmm? You okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just this whole Luke and April thing. Didn't go as I hoped. Not by a long shot. I can't force these things. If they could just let go of the past, then they would realize how perfect they are for each other. And they'd be as happy as we are. Frank? Are as happy as we were. What's 
say? Well, it's really, really important, and it'll make a lot of people really happy. Black and white milkshake, extra thick? Stan. <laughs> oh, how are you? I can't Ready? believe you remembered my favorite. Well, how am I going to forget? As many of them as I made when you were growing up. Yeah. You still work the counter? Every day. If my name is on the outside, my face is on the inside. So, double whipped cream? Yes. Yes, please. I shouldn't. But yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, I can't believe I've gone this long without having one of your milkshakes. Well, maybe you should come back more often. Stay right here. Don't move. Force of nature, that one. Kind of reminds me of someone else I know. Okay, what is the emergency? Um, April? I'm just having a milkshake. Thank you. Guess what? You can help my dad after all. Yes, we talked about this. It's, it wouldn't be fair to the other contestants. But I check with all of them and they don't mind. How did you know who all the contestants were? Grandma has a list. Force of nature. Hey, Daddy, maybe you and April can even make a sculpture of me. So we'll obviously have to close off the entire street. And then I was thinking we need two art stations for the kids. One right here and then the other one over there. Uh, they'll be making paper flowers. There'll be some uh, painting station for the little kids for paint, finger painting and then self-portraits for the big kids. And then I have this great idea. Do you think we could afford to get a kiln right out here for ceramics? If you get people to bid high on April's work at the auction and then, sure. Grandma! April's staying! What? She's gonna help Daddy with the art contest, and they're gonna win the competition! You what? I'm entering the Belmont Hills Centennial Art Competition. Let, let, let me be clear here. I'm trying to get you to sign a contract that will ultimately change the course of your career, and you are choosing a small town art contest? I know. It just happened. I just spoke to the Vitova people, and they are willing to sweeten the pot. They're going to get you the apartment. Really? Yep, right there in the center of town. Great view of the Eiffel Tower, the whole thing. And if, if you pass on this thing, sweetie, I'm serious. I'm considering throwing on a wig and doing it myself. Oh. I know. I must be crazy. So do I take that as a yes? It means that I'm going to give you my answer when I get back into town. She's here! She's here! Could you just tell me which way you're leaning? Tyler, I gotta go. Okay. Bye. I'm sensing a pattern here. Hi, doll. Nice to see you, April. I hear you've done very well for yourself. No time to talk. Dad's up back. Come on. Come on in. Thank you for doing this. Yeah, sure, doll. It's just that the last couple of years have been hard on him. I know. It's a challenge raising a child on your own. He shouldn't have had to go through that. Oh, well, no, we should. April, are you coming? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Dad has everything set up and get lots of work done. Bye! Well, thanks for doing this for Jess. Not that she gave you much of a choice. Well, she's, uh, very determined. <laughs> that, uh, determination will, will serve her well in life. Yeah. All right, uh, I thought that we would start from scratch, since clearly I don't have anything here. Yeah, no. Um... Do you have any uh, ideas? Not a one. Um, how about sticky notes brainstorm? <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Grab a chair. If 
first. Well, huh. I'm out. Sticky notes or ideas? Well, it seems both. <laughs> Maybe if I hold very still, they'll think I'm the artwork. Hey. hey! So, how was your first day? Well, we didn't argue, but we didn't get any work done either. That's still positive. Did you at least have fun? Mm. Mom, geez, he's trying to light. I didn't want to wake anybody up. Did I wake you? I asked my own obsessive thoughts that did that. You're doing late night stress eating all wrong. Let me buy those bars as a healthy snack for Jess. Mmm. <laughs> April. Um, please. Let me talk. You're sculpting. I didn't realize you couldn't do it without her. Yeah, well, neither did I until she left. Well, that girl couldn't wait to get out of here. She just didn't understand. You wanted something different. Yeah, I was just worried I couldn't cut it. Honey. Clearly I was right. I had no idea you felt this way. I thought you were happy here. Mom, I've always been happy here. You know, I love Maggie and the life we made together. You know, and even after losing her, I don't regret a moment of it. I belong here. I would finish school and as a member of this community, it's just his father. And I like making furniture. <laughs> We're gonna regret this tomorrow. Well, it's late. We've had to bed. Tomorrow's a work day. so nice here. I feel like I can breathe for the first time in a long time. Are you planning on going to Luke's studio today? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are you thinking? I'm thinking. I want to bore your bike. Morning. Morning. You have a bike, right? Uh, yeah. Are you sculpting a bicycle or something? I was thinking more along the lines of a field trip. <laughs> this is what we needed. We always got our best ideas when we got out in the world. Yeah. I can't say I've done much of that lately. Really? That's what I miss most about Belmont Hill. Hair that takes a sleep while the tortoise comes yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep on pedaling. Don't fall, okay? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Our tree, look. Yeah, the tree we had picnics under in high school. But mostly, I remember when we were 10, you called me a chicken if I wouldn't climb it. I just remember falling. Break my arm. Still crying Six about weeks it. in the cast. Still Six weeks. Still crying. You want to do it again? Kids, you get arrested for Are you chicken? 
No, no, no. Seriously, you could get totally arrested, babe. That shouldn't still work on me. Like our whole childhood is wrapped up in this tree. Yeah, I know. Which is why this should be our project. We sculpted? No, no, no. I'm not thinking clay. Maybe like, like metal and wire. And copper for the leaves. Yes. See, the centennial is a retrospective of the town celebrating Belmont Hills history. This tree, this is our history. You sure you want to revisit that history? Yeah. I'm sure. April, hey, uh, it's Ben, uh, Cross, you know. It was, uh, it was so great seeing you the other night, and, um, you know, uh, I'd love to see you again before the auction. Uh, give me a call. Like, right? Take it. Can you throw some right here? Throw it right. <laughs> oh, you've got a little. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Is that what you mean? Ah! <laughs> really? Is that what you mean? <laughs> 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 I'm more of my book. I really want to see how this all turns out. Help, please. Oh. Ow, 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 well, ow. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, well, let's see. We got pencil wire, plaster powder, wire mesh. See, Jess Dwyer convinced you to help look with his art piece. She is very persuasive. Thank you for giving her the okay. It really meant a lot. Yeah, you know, if I'd known how busy it'd make you, I might not have agreed. I, uh, I left you a message yesterday. Yeah, um... I'm so sorry, Ben. I, I, uh, um, I really did. I had a great time the other night. It's just this thing with Luke has become all-consuming. Do you have a date for your own silent auction? I don't. I think that's unacceptable, don't you? We should go together. I mean, I do know the guy who's curating your work. I'd like that. Climb in the window, and there she is, sitting on the chair waiting for me. You got caught? Yeah, not only did I get caught, I got grounded for a month. What? That's what I get for going on an April adventure. An April adventure? April would come up with these wild ideas, and she'd always convince the rest of the kids to go. And we'd all get in trouble, and she would somehow get away with it. Did Mommy get in trouble, too? Well, your mom wasn't around back then. Jesse, come help me cook dinner. Okay, Grandma. April, are you staying for dinner? Thanks for the invite, Jess, but I can't. Oh, okay. How's it going? Fine. You know, I wish you could have gotten to know Maggie. Yeah. She must have been a really great mother. Jess is, this is really great. Not to say that you're not an amazing father, it's just that, you know. Well, what about you? Any great loves in your life? 
here and there. Um, I really stayed in one place for too long, so. I'm sorry I didn't call, you know, after. You know, I just, one of those things. But I guess water under the bridge, right? Yeah. Water under the bridge. Listen, if you want to head out, I can clean up here. Sure. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, April. I'm glad you're back. Me too. Great, honey. Hey, Frank. Oh, wow, you didn't. Oh, uh... beautiful. I didn't even know that. Dear April, congrats on your first gallery show. Perhaps the next one will be in Paris. Best, Tyler. Hey, Tyler. Uh, the delivery guy was driving up. Right, of course. You know what? You and I could use a date night. Huh? How about Antonio's? Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. I can be there in 10. Sorry, honey, uh, rain check? I just keep piling up, Frank. Hey! Hey, April. Everything okay? Yeah, it's perfect. I got flowers. Hello? So did you get the flowers? I did, thank you, and they made a big impact. Uh, April, I'm not kidding about this whole Paris thing. Who's to say we can't get you a show there? Right, Belmont Hills to Paris in one short step. Hey, look, honey, I know you're burnt out on this whole fashion thing, but if anything could inspire you, don't you think it's the most fashion-forward city in the world? I don't know, Tyler. Right now, I'm more excited about a small-town competition and auction than I am about working for the second-largest clothing company in all of Europe. Did I tell you that they've sweetened the pot? Yes, an apartment. Yes, the apartment, but also a raise. They're worried that you're playing hard to get April, and they want to get you. I, look, I'm your friend. I, I, I got to tell you, opportunities like this do not come along every day. Well, that's the problem. I promise to give you my answer in a few days, okay? But I got to go, Tyler. Bye. Hey, Jess. What are you doing? I didn't know you could draw. I'm not that good. Oh, of course you are. When I erased, the old lines are still there. Can I teach you a little trick? Please. See how you're holding the pencil? Just try relaxing your hand a little bit, just like that. See? Gentle, but controlled. Wow. You try. You're really good. <laughs> like this? Yeah. Goodness, that looks a lot better. There you go. But I still don't know what to draw. Well, you are your father's daughter, aren't you? I have another trick for that. Like what? Like an April adventure. Okay, so the object is to find and take a picture of something for every letter of the alphabet. So, for example, okay, A is for... Ant. Perfect. Okay. Um... Um... I don't know, Jess. I don't see any. Weird. Hmm. Okay, so Never A here. is for... April's Adventure. Would that work? Okay. Okay. Dad, come on. It's the alphabet game. Let's take a selfie. <laughs> Say <laughs> April's Adventure. April's Adventure. Let's see. I love it, that's awesome! Good job. Okay, so B. B is for... Oh, branches. B is for duck. Huh? And 
Christmas for mosquitoes. Yes, I want to get him. I want to get him. Hey, Jess, what have you got? Virus for rock. <laughs> so I think that you got every letter. Every letter but X. X is a tough one. I don't think we're going to find anything out here with an X. Maybe. You got every letter. Let me take a picture. So, did you get an idea? Not yet, but I had a lot of fun. <laughs> so did I. Me too. I know Jess wanted you to have dinner with us last night. Maybe you could stay tonight. I can't. It's the auction tonight. You're coming, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, maybe I could pick you up. We could go together. Oh, Luke, um... Well... Someone else already asked me. Uh, kind of a date. A date, huh? With who? Ben Cross. Should actually uh, get going. Do you um uh do you have it from here if I leave? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Are those bids for my work? Yep. And on this one, the bidding is up too. Ooh, and maybe this is someone else who wants to spend their hard-earned money on your beautiful photography. I'll be back. Hi, Ben. Bye, Ben. What's that about? Nothing. Mm-hmm. Nothing look cozy. Uh, where is Luke? He didn't come. Why? Well, why would he... It's fine. Do you want to know the good news? Ben told me the auction was going really, really well. The bids are high. And your plan worked. After tonight, Frank should have enough money to put towards a centennial celebration, and he can slow down a little bit. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be doing that. He's busy, but he kind of loves being busy. He loves you more. No question. You got to meet my wife. Oh, well, duty calls. Anything like you? No, you're perfect. Okay. Hi. What do I got to do to get you to come to Belmont Hills, huh? Hey, sweetie. You. April, God, I've been looking for you. I have someone I want you to meet. Erin, how are you? Oh, oh you God. look great. Thank you, but the art critic from up north is here, and she wants to meet you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi. This is the young woman I was telling you about. Looked into it. It's worth looking Belmont Hill's most accomplished artist. No, no, yes. I don't think that's really true. Karen, your work is fantastic. Oh, I think really, you, but you will. You should see. So it's true, huh? How great hey, is Ben. <laughs> hey, hey, where do you think you're going? Dan, hey. I was, uh, I thought I forgot something in the car. Yeah, well, it better not be your wallet. Come on. These prices are going up fast. Yeah? Yeah. Well, she always knew she'd make it as an artist. She's very good. Yeah, this stuff's okay. Kind of like her smaller collection, though. Small collection? Yeah. It's over this way. It's kind of intimate, you know? And she's got a really good eye. <laughs> I don't even remember her taking these. Actually, it looked like an artist. Yeah, well, people always could see things that were there, even if other people couldn't see it. I'll let you enjoy the auction. Stan! Hey! Hey! If you think you could steal me away from here, make me a milkshake. <laughs> I need a break. Well, come on now. Tonight is about your art, not mine. I'm going to try to find something I can actually afford.
You came. Yeah. Couldn't miss your big night. So proud of you, April. You've become an amazing artist. These photos are exquisite. Do you like um, this one right here? I'm honored to be on that wall. To be seen in that way. In what way? Not as a real artist. I haven't thought about myself like that in a long time. I certainly never thought about furniture as art. Luke. Your furniture is art. The lines, your use of color, the intricate carvings. That's art. That's well, kind of you to say, but I don't know, it's functional, you know? People use it. It's a craft. Would you like to get a drink? Yes. But we're still talking about this. Your furniture is obviously an expression of your talent, vision, and skill. Kettle, I think you're black. What? You've never considered your fashion photography to be art. Here we are with the whole town clamoring to have a piece of your work, your art. Yeah, um, it's confusing. Well, lately, I've been thinking that my work has been holding me back as an artist. So much so that I've considered turning down the best job offer I've ever gotten. Oh? It's in Paris. Are the second largest clothing manufacturer in all of Europe. Sounds incredible. Yeah. Uh, sorry to interrupt. One of the buyers wanted to meet you. Yeah. Um. Yeah, get in there. It's okay. your big night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for coming. April, it's Tyler. The Batova people are starting to think you don't appreciate their generous offer and they're considering other options. If you don't give them an answer in a week, it all goes away. Salary, the apartment, one of the greatest cities in the world, it all vanishes. Jess, how's the drawing? I'm having a really hard time getting started. Well, that can be the toughest part. Any ideas? Yes. I know that I want to do something about my mom. Can you help me? Of course I will. <laughs> okay. What do you remember most about your mom? Oh, um... She loved to bake cookies. And she hated broccoli, but she pretended that she didn't so that I would eat it. And she always wore lip gloss that smelled like strawberries. And she said that her favorite thing, other than being daddy's wife and my mom, was being a teacher. She made that. Here, no. This one. Come here. Yeah. Education is the wing on which dreams fly. She used to tell me that when I didn't want to do my homework. I like it. I do. It's a start. So, okay. Think really hard about her. Try to, try to imagine her. 
Okay. Um. She always make her lessons on the dining room table. And she always had crayons and felt and beads and stuff. And I get to play with it. And she'd hum while she worked. Happy songs. He hum. I think that's it. I think that you should try humming while you draw. Just see if that works. Okay. Uh. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> you keep on looking at me. You keep looking at me. What are you doing? There's a little spot up here. A little boost there? I think I'm okay. Yeah? Yeah, I got it. Here. I think I... Let me help you. I'm making uh, sandwiches. Do you want something? Grandma says we can have gluten-free, dairy-free grilled cheese. Just let me know. <laughs> you didn't. We did. Oh. And and was it? It really was. <laughs> okay, so tell me. I mean, what does this mean? I don't know. We didn't get a chance to talk, so I don't know how Luke feels. Okay, but how do you feel? All I know is, it was a good kiss. A really good kiss. Oh, hey, honey. I'm sorry I missed dinner. The meeting ran late. I figured <clears throat> as much. Well, how was your day? My day was uneventful. April, however, had quite an interesting one. Her and Luke finally kissed. Oh, wow. Look at that. Huh? Why aren't you happy about this? Sweetheart, isn't this good news? This is what you wanted when April came back into town, right? What's wrong? Um, nothing really. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for her. I guess I'm a little jealous because I miss that kind of attention from you. I think I'm just tired. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. Hey honey, it's late. What are you doing up? Sorry, I'm working on my drawings. Hmm. Did you come up with an idea? Mm-hmm. April help me. Huh. <laughs> come on. Let's get you to bed. I'm no, drawing will be here in the morning. Come on. Daddy. Can I at least have some water, please? For my birthday, can I have a camera like April's? Maybe I'll be a photographer when I grow up. I thought you wanted to be a teacher like your mom. Maybe I can be both. 
Do you think April would teach me more about photography? I don't know, Jess. She's a pretty busy lady. But she likes us. I hope she stays. Jess, go ahead. I brought you coffee. And if you're really nice to me, there's a scone in it for you, too. Thanks. Really? This is what you're going to do now? You're just going to pretend that nothing happened yesterday? I know something happened. Sorry that it did. I can't believe I'm here again. Don't you get it? You broke my heart. And I loved you. everything else checks out blood pressure that's it that's all i got to work on i can do that i gotta go i'll take it yeah you've been hounding me for weeks you should be thrilled right yeah, i'm just a little surprised what changed since the other day you know is it stop no don't tell me i don't want you overthinking this yeah well spread the contracts book the ticket and then send it to me i'm going to france There, Jess. Wait, where is April? She had to go home to her real home. No, but when is she coming back? She's not. But she has to. The sculpture isn't done. And she didn't even see my drawing! Seriously, April? Paris? You know you're doing it again. Doing what? Running away. I am accepting an amazing job offer. Oh, a job offer that's so amazing that you just happen to not deal with it the entire time that you've been here? You don't want to go to Paris. What you're trying to do is avoid your feelings about Luke. I'm trying to avoid getting my heart broken. Maybe if you just let him explain it. He explained, it out. and it doesn't matter. Come on, April, don't do this. <laughs> Jess, sweetie, what are you doing here? You're really leaving? I have to go home. I was going to come and say goodbye to you on my way out. You can't leave. Sweetie, I have business back in the city I have to get to. No, you cannot leave. You don't understand. Daddy accidentally broke the scope and he needs your help to fix it. The competition is tomorrow. I'm sure that he can fix it. No, he can't. You have to go look. Please. Dad, 
I got you some help. It's not as bad as it looks. Yes, it is. We're going to have to rebuild the entire trunk. I can fix it. Well, yours isn't the only name on the project. So. Looks like you're gonna make it. I'm making a midnight snack for you two. Yeah, April, she really came through. Yeah, it's nice when someone cares about you. Mom, what am I supposed to do? I made my choice a long time ago. Besides, she's going to Paris. What am I gonna do, uproot Jess and follow her? Why not? Go where life takes you. What am I gonna do in Paris? Build furniture for French people. This town is still gonna be here. Just go live your dream. You can build a nest and still fly. Well, that took all night. Did you guys finally get the sculpture done? <sighs> yep. We worked all night in complete silence, but we finished. We made one more beautiful thing together, and I am very grateful for that. And now, I just want to eat something, get a few hours of sleep, and then start the drive back home. Drive back? I mean, you're not even staying for the competition? Win or lose, it doesn't matter. I have made my choice. I am a fashion photographer. April, you got to see this through. I, I got, it was a distraction. That's all art is. It's a, it's a distraction. Sooner or later, you, you got to go back to your life. No, no. Art, real art is not a distraction. It, it focuses you and it makes your life better. And if I am not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it was you who told me that once. I'm... Fine, I'll stay through to the judging. But then I'm leaving right after, because I have to go home and pack for Paris. What? If you're gonna walk away again, make sure that you don't have any regrets this time. Walking. Now, okay. there's a turn. Okay. Walk. Okay. A little further. Okay. Okay. Keep walking. Keep okay. walking. Okay. Stop. Okay. Can I open my eyes now? No. It has to be a surprise. And look. Honey, you did this? Yeah. Do you think Molly would have liked it? Oh, honey. I think she'd be speechless. That's mommy in front of the class, and that's me on this chair. Education is the wing on which dreams fly. That is what mom always said. April helped you with this? Yeah. She helped me remember things. She made it so that mommy was with me when I was drawing. You know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. One for you, one for the girlfriend. Enjoy. Thanks, Dan. Wow. Hi. Look at that. That's creative. Here you go. Wait for me. Yeah. Thank you. They're gorgeous. I'm sorry. What was that? Uh, that. Wait, just half. What was that? Thank, thank you, Brenda. Thank you're you. You're welcome, Brenda. <laughs>
but when I came home the other night with those flowers from April, those should have been for you, for me. Uh, I, I know I haven't been great at balancing everything, but I promise you I'll be better. And if that's not enough, I'll resign. Um, this is a great note to go out. No, I don't want you to resign. And you're great at your job, and you love what you do. I just miss us. That's all. I miss us. I miss us. I miss you. Mr. Mayor. Oh, Mrs. Mayor. So, what do you think? Actually, I think it's exceptional, doll. Well, if you think that, I had a great idea that maybe we could have an art fair once a year. It'd be great for tourism. Doll, make an appointment with my office on Monday, okay? Okay. All right. Madam First Lady, <laughs> Shelly. Let's see. I think I want this one. Hi, welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to you all. all. Let's get started. I am Mayor Robin, for those of you who didn't vote. Welcome, welcome to the, the Belmont, Belmont Hill Centennial, Centennial Celebration. Celebration. Today is not just a remembrance of our past, but it's a celebration of our future. Belmont Hills is a town founded for artists, by artists. So what better way to usher in the next hundred years than with a piece of artwork from one of our very own to adorn the lobby of our town hall. What are you doing over here? Hey, so Ben. Much. How are you? Uh, don't you want to come to the front? The judging? No, I can't. I have, I have to leave right after. Oh, my God. Can I please have a cupcake? Yeah. Just... Please let me have a cupcake. Please. Each of the pieces represents the town in its own way. Hey, have you seen April? Uh, yeah, she is right over there. Mom, can you watch Jess for a minute? Yes, but they're about to announce the... No, I'm glad I got to take you out after all these years. Ben, I'm sorry. I didn't... I don't know what else to say, except he's a very lucky guy. Hey, man. Hey, I need to speak with you. Can you talk outside for a second? So, without further ado, the Belmont Hill Centennial Celebration Art Competition awards first place to... It's in about Paris. Luke, it's too late. I took the job. I know. I want to go with you. That is, if you'll have me. What? I want to come with you. Wherever you go, if you go to France or Greece or Paris or Brazil or wherever it is you're going. But the point is, I don't want to lose you. No. No. We don't need Paris. I didn't want that job, Luke. I, I needed somewhere to run because... Because I thought that you didn't want me. <laughs> but now, I mean, we have a business here, and Jess has friends, and there's your mom. I could afford to slow down a little bit and reevaluate my life, you know? And if there is a job that I want, and it doesn't take me away from you and Jess for too long, then I'll take it. Are you sure? Yes! I never stop thinking about you. I, I know I can never replace Maggie, but... I'll love Jess just the same. Yes, April! Anybody see April? You won! You won the competition! <laughs> you did it! Come on! Come on, let's go! <laughs> oh, there they are. Come on down. Beautiful, beautiful. Each of the leaves on the trees is engraved with the name of a family in Belmont Hills, and as the town grows, new leaves will be added. Congratulations. Oh, very nice, very nice. Well, our sculpture embodies a, a real tree just outside of town. Luke and I played on it as kids, and uh, we picnicked under it as teenagers. We grew up under the canopy of that tree. Just like we did under all the love and protection you gave us growing up. So now you're all a part of our tree. And as much as we're all a part of Belmont Hills and each other's lives. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> 
So, so. Sure, won't be too boring for you. Come back here to Belmont Hills again. Well, who knows where our April Luke and Jess adventures will take us? Các bạn ơi, hôm nay chúng ta cùng tô bức tranh này nhá. Khi mình sẽ tô một đồ của cậu bé này màu xanh. Quân mình sẽ tôi một tí Áo mình sẽ tôi một ca Xong mình sẽ tôi một vàng Vậy là mình đã tốt xong rồi Hẹn gặp các bạn ở video tiếp theo nhé